Okay, if you're looking for uh, some filters for the Eclipse coming up, I tried something. If you take two number eight welder shades, because 14s are really hard to get. That's what you should have, but they're really hard to get here. So I took two number eights, the four and a quarter by two inch sizes. This is the Hobart brand, it doesn't matter. So you take the number eights and you put them together. Just stack the two together. Just like that. And it works perfect. You get an excellent uh, dimmed view, perfectly safe. Now if you really want to go out all out, you buy these goggles. They're for oxygen acetylene and they have a flip front on them. They come with a number five shade which is way, way, uh, that's not good at all. That's going to be way too bright. That's You can't use it. So you just take it out. So you take the number five shade out and the front uh, clear plastic pull them off. And that's what this little clip is push down and it locks in up here and you pull the lenses out then you've got to take out this other you want to take out this other plastic one back here because that could cause some reflections so once you slide the front piece off and you've got a retaining ring and you've got the clear lens get rid of that put the little retaining ring back in here and then just slide the uh, other cover back on so then you just put both of your number eights in there, like that, lock it down, and close it. And now you've got something that you can actually put around your face and shield any stray light. So this works really good. Then you can leave them on if you want to take a look at the surroundings. Just flip that up, and now you've got uh, an opening there. And the reason I said to take out this other plastic piece is because that could cause reflections, when, especially when there's going to be that airspace in here. You might get internal reflections, so you're better off just to take that out. This is a number 10 welder shade. A number 14 welder shade. Two number 8 welder shades put together. Okay, now that was somewhat uh, with those three different shades. What I ended up doing is just letting this camera do auto exposure. So it's pretty relative amongst each one uh, to show what the densities were because I just let the camera do its own thing. And so um, it should be really close to what you can see. So the number 14 actually looked a little brighter than what it is. But uh, 14 is good and the two number 8s are good. Definitely cannot use a number 10. So if you're having trouble finding a number 14 welder shade, uh, the 8s seem to be uh, readily available. Uh, the two 8s put together will work perfect.